Hey guys, this is Camo Kid 1SS, and today we're going to do some knife testing. This is one I made back in December, and it really doesn't represent the quality of knife I make anymore. And uh, it's heat treated in a similar manner as uh, these newer knives, but the difference is, is in the temper. Uh, instead of treat it for an hour and then let it cool, and then I do another 35 minutes. I tempered this one at an hour, let it cool, and then I tempered it for another hour. So it should be a little softer than the steel I do now, or the knives that I do now. But anyways, since it's kind of a scrap knife, I wanted to try a bend test and a vise. Now this is my vise. It's not much. It's not held down by much. And we need to get that on some level ground. Here we go. But anyways, uh, it's what I have. So at any point in the test, it, the vise doesn't seem like it's going to hold, we'll stop. But uh, it's what I have to work with. And always wear eye protection when you're going to do something silly like this. Okay. And okay, that's significant because when I heat treat a blade, I normally just heat treat the uh, blade part, not the handle. So that makes sense that's not doing that. Although that is harder than what it started with. Let's see. See my high quality tools. See if I can grab the actual blade that's tempered more. And there's the break. That's the difference between uh, companies and us right here. We'll show you the breaking point of all knives. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike some companies whose names will not be said. Now, uh, let's see if it doesn't fall in. I'm looking at the steel. I'm going to go ahead and take off my safety goggles because I'm not working with anything anymore. And now what I'm looking at is the grain structure. It's fairly fine grain. It's a fine grain structure. Uh, this temper didn't bother me at all. In fact, it sharpened up really easily. Uh, it didn't hold its edge as long as these. Let's see. My knife's right here. But, uh... And I don't know the Rockwell hardness. I don't have any files or stamps that can tell me that. But when I uh, test Rockwell hardness, basically I, uh, I get my water wheel, and that's what I put the uh, bevel on with the knife, not the, well, the edge on. And basically I can tell how much metal is coming off in a particular amount of time and what it feels like. And basically this is just slightly softer than this. So I'm sure uh, this would snap. Uh, the handle would bend because when I quench the knife, I actually don't quench the handle. In fact, the handle does get hot, but the edge is mainly what I'm heating up. But uh, I think this is a really good test. If uh, this lower quality uh, heat treat, or not heat treat, the heat treat was the same, lower quality knife with a lower quality temper, in my opinion, uh, turned out well, I'm sure this knife is better. Now, it might snap. I mean, that's just what knives do. Uh, they're hard. This isn't some kind of semi three that's going to bend like cold steel. But uh, I hope this I, I is. I thought a... we agreed we weren't going to say any names. <laughs> <laughs> I love cold steel, so I could talk about them. They're good knives and they're tough. <laughs> but uh, that is a, a fine grain structure, and I thought this was a valid test. I hope you got something out of this. Uh, we're out.